Saiful Abdullah Paracha is a citizen of Pakistan currently held in the United States Guantanamo Bay detainment camps in Cuba as of the 18th of May 2021 he has been approved for release by US authorities after his son Uzar Paracha conviction was overturned in 2018 and he was repatriated to Pakistan in March of 2020 the department of defense reports that Paracha was born on August 17 1947 in Mongwell, Pakistan. He graduated from a university in Karachi with a degree in physics and attended New York Institute of Technology, studying computer systems analysis. As of January 2020, Saifullah Paracha has been held at Guantanamo for almost 18 years. Paracha's son, Uzar Paracha, was convicted in 2005 for providing support to Al-Qaeda. that included assistance for Majid Khan to obtain documents. On July 3, 2018, 15 years after his arrest, Uzar's conviction was deemed void by Judge Sidney H. Stein based on newly discovered statements made by Amar al-Baluchi, Majid Khan and Khalid Sheikh Muhammad Stein, who oversaw Paracha's trial and imposed his sentence, called it a manifest injustice to let the conviction stand and granted Paracha's request. made in November 2008 for a new trial Uzar was freed on the 13th of March 2020 and willingly repatriated to Pakistan giving up his resident status a summary of evidence memo was prepared for Saifullah Paracha's combatant status review tribunal on October 6 2004 a writ of habeas corpus Saifullah Paracha v George W Bush was submitted on Saifullah Paracha's behalf in response on December 21, 2004 the Department of Defense published 58 pages of unclassified documents related to his combatant status review tribunal on December 8 2004 tribunal panel 24 convened and confirmed Saifullah Paracha's enemy combatant status on January 21 2009 The day he was inaugurated, United States President Barack Obama issued three executive orders related to the detention of individuals in Guantanamo. That new review system was composed of officials from six departments, where the OARDEC reviews were conducted entirely by the Department of Defense. When it reported back, a year later, the Joint Review Task Force classified some individuals as too dangerous to be transferred from Guantanamo. even though there was no evidence to justify laying charges against them on april 9 2013 that document was made public after a freedom of information act request saifullah paracha was one of the 71 individuals deemed too innocent to charge but too dangerous to release obama said those deemed too innocent to charge but too dangerous to release would start to receive reviews from a periodic review board The first review wasn't convened until November 20th, 2013. Paracha's review convened on April 8th, 2016. His was the 29th review to be convened. Paracha was denied approval for transfer on April 7th, 2016, as of May 2021, 18 years after the start of his incarceration. US authorities approved Saifullah Paracha for release, citing that he is not a continuing threat. On July 12, 2006, the magazine Mother Jones provided excerpts from the transcripts of a selection of the Guantanamo detainees. Paracha was one of the detainees profiled. According to the article, his transcript contained the following exchange: Tribunal President, I do know you had some questions about the legality of your detention. That would be referred to other organizations of the government, but you will be receiving more specific instructions shortly of how to bring your question to US. Quotes. Paracha, Your Honor, I have been here 17 months. Would that be before I expire? Tribunal President, I would certainly hope so, especially since you are under the care of the US government while you are here. As far as some of the other statements you made about jurisdiction, this is a US government executive decision in regards to the detention of enemy combatants. Paracha, Your Honor, My question is that your executive order is applicable around the earth? Tribunal President, it is a global war on terrorism. Paracha, I know, sir, 
but you are not the master of the earth sir tribunal president would you be surprised to hear that osama bin laden founded al qaeda and al qaeda includes people from all over the world people from america afghanistan pakistan philippines and people from wherever paracha sir how could anybody know who al qaeda is tribunal president good question that's a very good question on june 2nd 2008 zakari katznelson appealed to the pakistani government for assistance stating political intervention is the only hope for saifullah paracha to receive justice paracha needed heart surgery